Hey Baron, you've worked with structural material before, right? A few times. Okay, uh, so you know you know about A325s, A490s? Yeah, one's stronger than the other one. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. The A490s are a lot stronger than the A325s. Now, did you know, while they are similar in size due to their heavy hex pattern, there are some substantial differences between them, both chemically and strength-wise? Like what? So when it comes to A325 bolts, they're commonly used in bridge and highway construction projects. They can either be type 1 or type 3 weathering steel. So type 1s can be galvanized. They have a minimum tensile strength of 120,000 PSI for anything 1 inch or less in diameter. Now once you go over that 1 inch diameter mark, your minimum tensile strength drops down to about 105,000 PSI. So in contrast, A490 bolts are used if you need more strength than an A325. They can either be type 1 or type 3 weathering steel, and they have a minimum tensile strength of 150,000 PSI. But they are more susceptible to stress corrosion cracking. Now you mentioned that A325s can be galvanized. How about A490s? So when, when it comes to galvanizing A490 bolts, they undergo a process of what's called hydrogen embrittlement. So it's gonna cause the bolt to be a lot more brittle in the long run, and that structural integrity of that bolt is compromised. So how do our customers know which grade to use and when? So typically when you're looking at your plans for the structural portion of your job, it should actually call out which grade you, you'll need either A325 or A490, but in the end, it's ultimately up to your engineer. Okay, so even though A490 is stronger than A325, that doesn't always mean better. Correct, correct. Yeah, like you said, once we start getting at A490s, they can't be mechanically galvanized or hot dip galvanized. So it's not always you know, the best choice. Sometimes you'll need that corrosion resistance. So at the end of the day, when in doubt, ask the engineer. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about fasteners, check out behamfast.com.